So I am up here on the fifth level of the multi-generational passive ICF house that I've been DIY building mostly on my own. I thought I'd shoot a quick little video to explain how in the world I am cutting and measuring. Actually, this one will be more about measuring these roof rafters, which are actually just eye joists. Um, but how I'm, how I'm doing those measurements. Because obviously, I mean, if I had two people, well, even if I had two people, it'd still be kind of hard to, to string even a metal tape across. So with the ICF, my walls, I don't know if you can see it, but my walls are pretty darn straight. With that said, they do vary about a quarter of an inch or so. And uh, sometimes a quarter of an inch can make a difference when your eye joists are having to sit on a Simpson hanger. So I wanna get as accurate as I possibly can. And uh, that's where this very cool handy tool comes in. It is a digital measuring stick. I don't know. It's a digital measuring tool and incredibly accurate. I've actually tested it against the DeWalt uh, steel measuring tape and this does great. So what I do, let me show you one, let me show you one thing that I've done is I've gone ahead and you can see these black marks that I made. Those black marks are 16 inches on center so that I know where my eye joists are gonna be um, landing. And then I use my laser measure. Be the best way that I can shoot this so you can see. Basically, I use the laser measure. I put it against the wood. It shoots a little laser dot over to my other ledger board. And then I press the middle button and then that freezes it. So basically I'm measuring from black mark to black mark because that's also 16 inches on center over there. And then that gives me um, uh, the exact distance between these two because also it's at a slight slope gives me the exact distance within like 16th of an inch. So then I take my handy dandy laser measure. I go over to the eye joist over here that I'm needing to cut. And then because they're butted up against the foam wall over there, then I'm able to get the, I'm able to move my laser measure until it's the same distance. So for example, if it is 32, actually, let's give you a real one, 31 feet, eight inches and a quarter, eight and a quarter, then I just move my laser measure on the eye joist until the back end of it is at that same distance, mark it, cut it, and I'm good to go. And also I've come up with a little jig template that I use to get the correct angle when I'm doing my cuts. So anyways, hopefully that is helpful to somebody who also is in the same situation. And if you want me to make a video on how I solo hang these things, how I'm able to get the eye joist from over there, over to here by myself, how I'm able to roll it by myself, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.